Hey kids, today I've got another exciting animal story for you. Let's get reading. Our story for today, kids, is called Tsuro and the Headless Rooster. Tsuro and the Headless Rooster. One more time. Tsuro and the Headless Rooster. Rooster. Okay, kids, let's start our story. Deep in the jungles of the continent called Africa, there is a country shaped like a teapot near the bottom of the continent. This country, kids, is called Zimbabwe. Repeat after me, Zimbabwe. Now, since the beginning of time, kids, small homesteads could be found in the middle of jungles. Africans have always loved to live with nature. One such homestead was deep in a jungle. It was small, but Interesting things happened there all the time, kids. What was more interesting was the way the animals who lived in the jungle felt about the animals that lived at the homesteads. Hmm. Some of them found it fascinating, while some of them found it strange and some did not care at all, kids. One of the animals that found something to say about the homestead animals was Babu the baboon. He was at the forefront, kids. It was primarily because Babu did not like to do hard work, kids, most of the times. He was always trying to find the easiest way of doing things. Babu had even tried at one point to be taken in and become part of the homestead. However, when he discovered that all animals at the homestead contributed with some sort of work he changed his mind kids mm -mm -mm. nevertheless babu always longed to be like one of the homestead animals because he thought that they were so cool he envied the friendship that the homestead animals had with Tsuro, our naughty and clever little rabbit. Yes, kids. Tsuro was one of the animals that seemed to always get everything right and easy. It always seemed like all the cool stuff always happened around Tsuro. He got along so well with the homestead animals and they liked him a lot. Oh, kids, Babu wanted that too. So one fine day, Babu was swinging in the trees, whoosh, whoosh, past the homestead when he peeked over to the homestead to see what interesting thing was going on. Babu nearly fell off the tree he was swinging from kids that very moment because he saw something curious and terrifying. Right on the homestead fence, there was Jongwe the rooster perching. The only thing was, Jongwe was perching in a way Babu had never seen before. He was standing on one leg 
his other leg was missing and he had no head kids babu was scared babu went closer to jongwe's body and could not understand what was going on he spent such a long time there until he saw sheshe jongwe's wife and suro coming out of the homestead hello babu both of them greeted babu cheerfully sheshe suro babu said sounding shocked are you not seeing what i'm seeing Can't you see the jongwe's head and leg are missing? What is going on? Tsuro and Shishi looked at each other and shook their heads, kids. Oh, Babu, Shishi said. You don't know. Clack clack clack. No what? Babu asked. Jongwe has sent his head and strong leg to hunt she she said yes suro agreed i'm surprised you did not know babu everyone knows that this is how you hunt smart these days who babu was so surprised to hear this kids He had never imagined that this was possible. He looked at Jongwe. Tsuro and Cheche burst out laughing. <laughs> Babu felt so stupid and left out kids. He walked away from Tsuro and Cheche kids. However, He was completely fascinated by what he had just heard. Was it really possible that one could send their head and leg off to do chores while the body stayed and enjoyed itself? Babu asked himself. Hmm. He was determined to find out. When he arrived home, Babu told his sister Mboi what he was going to do. Mboi, he said with excitement, "I am going to be like one of the cool animals now." "Really?" Mboi asked. "Yes," Babu replied. "I will send my head and leg off to look for food." Babu, Mboi exclaimed, "You have started again with your nonsense. What are you talking about?" "I saw it with Jongwe by the homestead," Babu said. "I saw it with my own two eyes. Jongwe sends his head and leg to hunt while his body rests and enjoys the sun." Suro and Sheshe even told me with their own mouths. Well now, Babu, Boy said, I don't believe what you were saying. Even if it is true, what is wrong with the honest way we find food? I want what is easy, Boy. Babu said angrily, kids. and i want to be cool too so i am going out to sharpen the axe so that i cut my head and leg off and send them off to do work for me while my body rests ooh boy was alarmed with these kids she dashed out and ran to the homestead in search of tsuro and sheshe in a few minutes boy tsuro and sheshe arrived where babu was sharpening his axe they had jongwe too when babu saw them he smiled hello guys he said 
I will now do what you all do to work the easy way. Okay, Babu. Clack, clack, she, she said. Before you do that, however, we have something you should see. Really? Babu asked. Sheshe nodded and said to Jongwe, Jongwe, clack, clack, please send your head and leg to go hunting. Clack, clack, clack. And right in front of Babu's eyes, kids, Jongwe simply tugged his head inside his neck feathers down and tugged his leg up into his breast feathers. Just like that, his head and leg disappeared. Babu's jaw dropped. He didn't chop off his head and leg, he said. Exactly, she, she said. Clack, clack. But, but you guys told me that he sent his head and leg off to hunt. And you told me that I can chop mine off and do it too. That is not entirely true, Babu. Tsuru replied. Ooh, kids. We did tell you that John was sent his head and leg to hunt. But we did not tell you that he had chopped them off. And we most certainly did not tell you to cut yours off or go home and do the same. But, but you guys were laughing at me because I'm not cool like you, Babu cried. First off, Sheshe replied. Clack, clack. We are not laughing because you are not cool. We were laughing because we were playing a joke. And we were surprised that you were actually believing it. Oh, Babu finally understood, kids. He now felt really foolish. So, he asked, You guys... Don't think I'm not cool. Babu, Tsuru answered. We like you the way you are because no one else is like you. We are just worried for you because you always try to be like everyone else except for yourself. That is what I was trying to tell you, brother, boy said. Rather than try to be like all the other animals, why can't you try to be the best version of yourself? That is right, said Jongwe. Glo-glo, before you try to chop off any more limbs. The animals laughed, kids. And there is nothing wrong with trying things that are new to improve yourself, Tsuru said. But learn, research, and understand first before going off to try and be cool. Everyone laughed and learned great lessons, kids. The end. We'll see you in the next episode of Jungle Tales. Remember to like and subscribe, kids. Bye.